Oh yeah, more Tortuga. Welcome back, chat. Thanks again for tuning in for Tortuga. We're going to continue on right away where we left off yesterday. So welcome back. Good to see you all here. Smash like if you'd like to see more. Wow, you did it. Thank you. All right, let's find out where we are. So we're at... Ah, uh, yeah. Our goal is to go to Isabella, Tortuga, make our way across the top. Hmm. Yes. Good to see you all here. Thanks again for watching. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the big O member bombs. You guys are awesome. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Good to see you all. Almost Friday. Almost Friday, champ. Well, let's begin. Uh, yeah, we can unlock fast travel points by capping these thingies. What were we going to do? We're going to grab Grog. And go to Isabella. You'll find me at the local marketplace. Grog. There we go. Honestly earned gold looks different. Uh, put into port in a town and bring t the goods to Mary Reed. She's in, uh, Port Royal. Unless magically she's here. Oh, wow. Magically she's here. Hand over the goods to Mary Reed. New member. Welcome. Oh, wait. She was already with us. I forgot we recruited her. We're getting more captains now. Awesome. Yo, Sour Lang, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. And uh, appreciate your kind words in the chat, too. Thank you very much. Wow. All right. Mary Reed is not known for her ordinariness. Finally, the fun begins. My crew is getting everything prepared. They should be ready any second. She lights a cigar and quietly watches the embers burning down. He'll be surprised. Who's that? Uh, Reed laughs and begins to drum her fingers on the table. Jonathan Barnett. A scurvy leprosy and cholera together couldn't even come close to causing me to feel the kind of pain that filthy doormat does. He's a pirate hunter. He's been chasing for me, uh, me for years. This will surely make him good and angry. And why would that make him mad? Uh, you really aren't the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? We need all that stuff to give uh, this forlorn place the biggest fireworks show it's ever seen. There are innocent people stuck in prisons all over the Caribbean, <clears throat> and we're going to change that. But we need to test the whole thing out before we get ourselves killed. A test? What is it? What? What do you mean? Oh, I just thought about the house of an old acquaintance. He won't be ho home right now, but uh, his head will surely burst with rage. His house is in New Orleans. It'll be a hell of a party. Okay, you sparked my curiosity. We're gonna go blow up someone's house. Blow it up. Not only more gold, but a favor in the pocket to boot. Just oh. how I like it. And we got plus loyalty. Yo! Morgan with the five plus five. Thank you very much. Oh wow. We're starting with the puns. The pirate puns begin. Here we go. Where do one legged pirates like to eat? I hop. Upside down face. Boo. Thanks, Morgan. Appreciate it. Wow. Alright, so we're also supposed to go to New Orleans now. But we'll do that later. And we're also supposed to buy more wood again. Ah. 
I don't know precisely what we want with all that stuff. So we got to find another island with wood. Space from more important goods. Let's go to Isabella and see if we can buy wood there. Wow, they don't like us. All hands on deck. Let the fun begin. Yeah, green eye hype in the chat for the new member. Let's get it going. And uh, hashtag Morgan. Let's get some Hot Pockets and pizza rolls in the chat. Thank you very much, Morgan. Ah. There we go. Get that hype going, chap. Uh, yeah, our, our schedule is down below in the description. Let's slow him down first. Oh, we gotta get repairs. Alright, we'll do that in the next one. We'll be aight. What does the skull mean? Uh, it means you could have a collision if you're not careful. Because your ships always have to make a move. Because of the wind. Yep, Farthest Frontier got a big O update the other day. It fixed all the performance issues, so we're playing that later today. Apparently it fixed all the issues. We'll take a look. We'll see if it's fully fixed. I'm still having trouble loading some of my saves. I gotta do something sneaky to fix that. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Full speed ahead. All right, we got to get close again. Well, this isn't optimal, but it'll do. Nice. Nice, another one down. Good day to be a pirate. Well, I 
And that'll do. Got to keep cracking that armor. Hey, welcome to the stream, Arjan. Another one down. Another one down. I hope it's worth it. This crew is going to be awfully happy. The men are already riding Boom. You, Captain. Boom. Yo, chat, thanks for the hundo. Appreciate the hundred likes, Jack. We ought to start writing shanties about our victories. Let's go for two. Let's pump it up. Let's pump those rookie numbers up. Any grog one. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, we got to go buy some wood now and stop in Isabella. And then we'll start uh, raiding pirate towns. It's going to be one of our goals today, too, is to start raiding cities, including, like, pirate villages or whatever. Yahar. Yahar. This game's really hard. Um, yeah, you know, when you get the hang of it, it gets a little easier. Oh, can you get a Chandler on board for repairs? Uh, I think there is some sort of level of repair in this game, like at sea. I'll try not to beat up any of those Englishmen, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> oh, exactly what I was looking for. I think that's why we bring can the we wood. Take more of it with us. know precisely what we want with all that stuff. It's just taking up cargo space from more important goods. Alright, we gotta go still buy some more. Gotta still buy more wood. On to the next town. Off to Tortuga. Wow. 45% of your cargo will be confiscated? No thanks. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're following me, sir. You're not going to want to do that. Yahar. Yeah, 
I think the men truly need this surely. Cool. Now back to Torduga. Oh, exactly what I was looking for. Actually, we take more of it with us. And load the oh, that was a mistake from them. This will be fun. This is making me want to play Sea of Thieves again. Do you guys still play Sea of Thieves all the time? We had to do another Goof Troop Sea of Thieves. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. Seems like a good time any time to play that game. I wonder if we can fully immobilize them. Ah, we missed. You can't wait? Yeah. It's pretty fun to play that. We gotta get, uh... I don't know, like, Dirty and uh, Lumberjack haven't really had much experience yet in that game. We're gonna have to play with them. We got, like, Buford or Jerry to lead the... the ship. <laughs> wow. That ship's gone. Now, we could board and, like, steal these ships, but I think I'm okay for now. Show them how it's done right. Hey, Kefia, welcome to the stream, dude. Jerry's a boarding party of one. That's true. You know what you're doing. Jerry likes to do uh, boarding, that's for sure. I think this shot will miss. But let's try the lucky shot. Usually when there's stuff in the way, it usually misses. Dude, look at all the people in chat today. Hello, chat. Good to see you. Anyway. All right. Job done. Where's your king now? All right, back to Tortuga.
No. I need to go to Isabella. My bad. Yeah, we're taking the pirate base today. We're going to start capturing some of those. Looked like that ship had the same flag as me. That was weird. Eh, whatever. Off to new shores or old, well traveled ones. <laughs> All right, let's hand over the goods. You enter the demolished town, merchants bustle about in port. Oh, that's right, this town had a storm, so we're delivering, like, repair supplies. Uh, let's see. Uh, selling their goods to the highest bidder, a local resident immediately approaches you. Good thing you're here. We're urgently in need of wood and food. Are you carrying any? We'll pay whatever the price. Well, what a coincidence. As a matter of fact, we do. Excellent. A discarded trader and a good businessman deal in the same amount of time. Next, we could take care of uh, my competitor in Se Seville. Oh, yeah. Not exactly the best businessman, that guy. I'm sure we can get him like a herring. What do you know about this guy? Petiro Martinez, son of the most successful trader in the Caribbean, inherited his father's business, but not even an ounce of his talent since then. He's been rather unsuccessfully trying to hand his hand as a trader in all sorts of goods while burning his father's fortune. All right. What do you plan to do with him? He's definitely not the brightest light in the harbor. We can steal his goods and sell them back to him. He won't even notice. Could actually be rather entertaining for us. All right. Yeah. Not only more gold, but a favor in the pocket to boot. Just how I like it. Now, I have never played Port Royale, but uh, I've looked at it. it. Looks fun. Both games seem like a lot of fun. All right, so we're supposed to go to Seville or whatever. And New Orleans. And West Santo Domingo. Let's do that one. But on our way there, let's take the long way and hit this pirate. Uh, we're going to hit up this pirate base. We're going to go raid it. So now we're doing our pirate raid. Let's go, brother. We're actually supposed to take uh, the pirate base down here, but we'll start taking them all. This island's got two. There's one here and here. There's one here. There's like three just in this area. And there's one here and here. This is like the populated area. And let's go do the quest one first. It'll be two birds with one stone. We'll take a pirate port and we'll complete the quest. Uh oh. Got an email chat that Void Train is coming to Steam. Dupeford returns. Oh wow, we can intimidate this guy these guys? What do they got? Galleon, Galleon, Queen Anne, frigate. Well, they got some Queen Anne's that are better than ours. Eh, maybe we could take those.
Oh, we have a ship of the line. No, that's fine. Yeah, we need a better Queen Anne. All right, I think we're going to capture one of them. Or both. Both are at the same... Oh, there's also a ship at the line. No. Enough of playing cards. Here we go. Let's get him. Speed ahead. Let them go ahead and come closer. Alright, which one's the Queen Anne? Oh, This one's got two decks of guns. Oh, we're taking this one. Yep. Wait, which one's which? It's hard for me to tell. It's hard to tell, like, when you click on one. You don't like get the info. If I buy the game now, will it be something for Raptor? Yeah, if you uh, use code Raptoria at checkout on the Epic Game Store. Yep. Exclamation point Raptoria. Fat Billy from Philly, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Plus member. Let's get some hype in the chat. Let's go. Green eyes, let's go. Show him some love. Now, God of War is just the old command. Show them how it's done right. I can't tell which ship's which. To me, these two look exactly like these two. I think we want these ones. It's another thing this game needs is to be able to tell you what ship you're looking at. You know what, we'll just capture the ones with, like, two gun decks. That's the first time I've seen that. We need to start upgrading our ships to, like, more guns. The easiest way to do that is just by capturing. Otherwise, we have to, like, worry about our relationship with each faction. Alright, let's sink this little one. You're gone. Oh, wrong one. Uh, why does it always select the weirdest target? Yeah, the flags are different. But that's it. They look very similar.
good. Wait a minute. <clears throat> He's 100% damaged on his sail, so he should not be able to move. Yay. Barely holding out with that one ship. Beautiful. Well, my plan changed now to from boarding enemy ships to trying to save that one. So we're going to try to board this one because I think this one's the Queen Anne. I, I can't even tell. Like, I was trying to look at my own ships and it's like... Like, I wish it would just tell you. Like, it looks like the Queen Anne's have a thing on the front of them. So... That's it, I think. But anyway, I'm trying to save our one ship there.
And if we're going to board that one, let's soften it up. Uh, let's try these. I've been looking forward to this the whole time. Oops, never mind. Men, of all of you place your bets. The <laughs> one can begin. I didn't think that armor piercer would be that effective. Oh well, there'll be more. It was predictable. They still have a lot to learn. I just want to save our ship for Samus. I don't want him going down. Yeah, the plan kind of changed when he got really heavily damaged like that. Looks like they're ignoring him, though. Ah, damn it. I want those multiple gun decks. That'll be our policy from here on out. So long as we can, we'll capture a ship of the line or a uh, Queen Anne that has multiple gun decks unless we need to not do it for a mission so we'll, we'll try to capture multiple we'll deck ships how it's done right. <laughs> direct hit men of all of you place your bets the fun can begin We'll cut them off. We'll show them how it's done right. Oh, we missed. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. Oh, we were able to do some repairs there. Barely any, though. Seems like the pirates have the better upgraded ships. Like, they seem to be worth more of a fight. Like, to pirate a pirate ship. Oh, the top bar tells you the ship type? Really? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, I never even noticed that. Okay. Uh, see, I think you should just be able to click on any ship on the map and see what it is, though. I mean, we can already. Like, if I'm like, oh, what is this ship over here? Well, you can do that in the action phase, but... Yeah, you're right. Okay. Didn't even see that all the time we played. Good job, chat. All right, but we got our new policy. <clears throat> now, actually, when we go on this pirate raid, there could be some really good pirate ships in the uh, in the bays. So we're going to go and uh, try to take the best of the best ships then. It was predictable. They still have a lot to learn. Oh, I would have really liked multiple gun decks. Didn't I do a great job? Of course, you did make your contribution as well. Ooh, spices. Uh, let's go over here and get repaired. Yahar!
And when we can, we'll engage pirates so that way we don't have to keep going back to port to divide the booty. The local specialties are delish. I'll go get myself a rub. We'll get them to give up that accent yet. But besides that, they're fairly fit recruits, I'd say. Wow, we only took two, like two people, only two people on our ships died in that whole fight. Diesel Designs, thanks for the 17 months as a raptor egg. Thank you. Hey, wait, where's our... Wait, did that ship sink? Wait, we lost two ships? What? I didn't even... What? Oh, I saw the cutscenes. I didn't even... I thought the game just went into some cutscenes every, every once in a while. Uh-oh. Well then. Time to go find some better ships. Now let's swing back around. We'll get closer to the pirate hideout and take some of their ships. Upgrade torpedoes? Yeah, that'd be cool. There we go. Great. I'll go back and do that before before we engage those pirates. This will be a little better. I want their ships, though. We gotta find some good pirate ships. We want, like, um... Let's grab 
hopefully these are worth it. Oh, it seems like this is the same group we engaged. We want these Queen Anne's. Send them to the bottom of the sea. Brown Bear is the final battle. Yeah, see, you know, when you hover over a ship like this, there should just be a little thing above the... There's that window there that shows all the cannons. But there should just be a little thing above that just, that just says, like, oh, pirate galleon or whatever. Oh, that's not goof this time. Full speed ahead. Yeah, let's get rid of the little ones. We'll show them how it's done right. Now let's board this one. The boat's ours. And board this one. Grab the sabers, pistols, and bottlenecks. No holds board. I think the short range cannons in this game are much better. You have much more short range engagements. Because, like, all these little landmarks and things in the way squeeze you to about, like, four tiles between another ship. Like, I think the <clears throat> heavier, shorter-range cannons are way better. After all, I did tell you that you'll regret it. Nothing can go wrong now. And that's the galleon. Let's get rid of that. Good. Smash like for that great content. Yeah. Chad, it matters a lot that you uh, hit that button. Now I'll show you how it's done. It let's me know you want to see more. I like to make stuff that you like to watch. All part of the evil plan, really. A 
another ship for the shelf. Okay, nice. We have one of the ships. We'll show them how it's done right. We've already taken that ship. The boat's ours. It was a shoddy job anyway. We shouldn't mourn it. All right, these two need to go. If you're not particularly interested in this game, should I li still like it? I don't want to give the wrong impression. Well, what it does do is lets uh, other people know that you at least like me and the streams itself. So somebody else might really, really like Tortuga Pirate's Tale and they may have not found it yet. So. If you're like, man, this is okay, but it's not my favorite, but you still like, there's a chance that somebody else could find this channel and or this game, and there could be new people in the community to show us new games that you might like. So, you know, even if some, some things are, you know, some things are okay or good, but then every once in a while we find a game that's, like, great and amazing. And because of your support devs, like, for example, when we play Farthest Frontier today, uh, they, you know, reach out before their game is ready or something, and so oftentimes they'll be like, hey, here's our game. We're releasing it today or something. Here's a bunch of keys to give away to your fans. And then, like, here's a key to the game so you can play it, too. So then I'll tell you guys, like, oh, yeah, guys, uh, they gave me a key to play today and a bunch of keys to give away to you guys. Or, you know, or we find another Bradford or another uh, Lumberjack or something. So, But games we really like on the channel will come back to time and time again. Because they're good. It's good stuff. Yes, relax. It's kind of like Steam wish lists, you know? Like, sometimes you're not necessarily interested in buying a game that very second on Steam, but you add it to your wish list to kind of like remind you to buy it later or to check back when there's an update or... Um, Away with the fuses and grab the sabers. I hope it's worth it. And also, Steam uses a uh, wish list to like recommend more stuff to more people. So if there's like a highly anticipated game, like let's say that new Harry Potter game coming out, if a bunch of people added it to their wish list, but they haven't pre-ordered it yet, it'll just be like, "Hey, this is a highly anticipated game. We're gonna put this on a, like our main store page when it comes out." Not that you know Hogwarts Legacy needed any more. After all, I did tell Any you more hype, but it. it's cool. It just helps people find new stuff. All right, I think there's just that one ship and then the one we boarded. I don't think I could damage this ship now that it's boarded. Hope hopefully not. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, this is the full release of this game. I mean I think so. 
you know, all games now are kind of technically early access because they add updates and new DLC. I mean, like, you know, they do seasons. Like, Sea of Thieves is released, but, you know, every six months they come out with, like, a whole new thing that adds a bunch of new, like, new events. So either there's an, either there's an early access game that gets updates or there's, um... Or there's events. Alright, let's try to destroy that one. Yep, that ship's fine. Good point. You think you're going to buy it? It looks like fun. <clears throat> yeah, if you get it on the uh, Epic Games Store, use code Raptoria at checkout. They give me a little um, money for the shout-out. But if you're getting it on PC, you can only get it on Epic, so it's not like it's not like they needed me to shout it out. Like, that's the only place to get it. But it's also on PlayStation and Xbox, which is pretty cool. It's a good console game. Yeah, har. All right, let's take those two ships. Didn't I do a great job? Of course, you did make your contribution as well. Nice new ship. Now all we've got to do is get the stench out of it. Ooh. Nice. All right, so let's give Nice. I think that's better. We'll see how that goes. Good. do repairs before we attack a pirate camp. Probably some awful nice ships in there. Zeno, thanks for the five months, is a raptor egg. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, they have a two sixteen hundred ship of lions. Might be worth taking. Let's take the two ship of the line. Ah, and the Queen Anne too. Actually, I don't even know if I have that much space for those ships.
We can take two. Then we'll take the two ship of the line. Maybe we can give these guys the two ship of the line. Then we'll sell all the Queen Anne's. Can you get any more captains? Yeah, I can get one more, I think. Uh, we just have to go find them. Alright, this should be tough. Oh, true. If I capture the uh, pirate camp, we'll get more storage. True. All this chatter gets on my nerves anyway. Full speed ahead! Oh, yeah. Ship of the line or Queen Anne. Each individual cannon deck requires one action point to fire. If you don't uh, need a full broadside to finish off an enemy, you might want to consider deactivating some decks. Okay. Don't want to destroy then. Good, good. Let's take these ships. I'll deduct the time from your pay. I guess we just cap them all and then sell them. Yep, this is on the Epic Game Store. Use code Raptoria at checkout if you want to get it on PC. R A P T O R I A. A 
another ship for the shelf. Board everybody. Don't you dare let those vultures below deck. Men, have all of you placed your bets? The fun can begin. Those still standing at the end get a bottle of rum. Well, at last. Getting there. Getting there with our takeovers. Yeah, I'll put the uh, I'll put the link in the chat right now for everybody. That'll be helpful. Let me uh, let me try this. Uh, let's see. This will be helpful to everybody interested. I'm just going to grab the link real quick. Uh, let's try this. This might actually help. Okay, there we go. Alright, so if you're interested, there it is. Pinned at the top of chat for everybody. And uh, you can get that through the Epic Game Store. If you want to. I'll, uh, for anybody watching this video after, or the stream afterwards, I'll put it at the uh, top of the... Um, comment section too so those of you wanting to see that can see it at the top of the comment section I'll have it pinned later today let's do that alright cool thanks for being patient guys all done back to the fi piracy we go Yahar. alright let's go ahead and board the last ship I suppose Where do you go? Oh, there he is. They're trying to get away. Uh, new cycle videos are on the channel. If you want to see more about that game. We'll have a new cycle video going up just after the stream too. So, uh, But it is free. Hold on. Uh. 
<sighs> Let's see. Master Oink, thank you very much for the six months as a little raptor. I think this is the last ship we have to take. I'm not afraid of them. Very nice. Now search their store. Should just be the last. Eyes, front men. We have to see what we're shooting at. Those still standing at the end get a bottle of rum. So, where to? We'll send those uniformed sods back where they came from. They want to run away already. That I'll go for. We'll settle it face to face. Um We'll show them how it's done right. Come on, men. Bring the tankers for a big thing so Ah, come on. Let's grab ourselves the big fish. Yay. Oh, now we can have 20 <laughs> Now we can capture every one of the ships. Wow. We'll sell the other ones, but let's throw it all in the bank. Cool. A princely top that I would only entrust the best of captains with. Nice new ship. Now yeah. all I have to do is get the stench out of it. Ooh, home sweet home. A hideout gained and the hombres around here will leave us in peace to boot. Cool, now we stole a After all pirate that hideout. Success, I'm thirsty as hell. But damn it, there's no taverns at all here, Captain. Oh, we can actually. Oh, we can build. We actually found the local pirate. Oh, hideout. cool. Here's where they pull back to to celebrate their victories. When we feel strong enough, we ought to attack the hideout and claim it for ourselves. That's a pretty little spot we've taken for That's ourselves. That's cool. There's surely room for improvement here and there. Wow, that's really cool. So we can actually build stuff in this town now. Treasure cave, tavern, dry dock, repair dock. So we just need wood, ropes, and round shot. Wood and cod liver oil plus money. So we can store goods here too. So if we get a lot of loot and booty instead of selling it, we can just store it here. And then when we find a place where they're buying it for a high price, we can come back and pick it up and then sell it wherever the high price is. That's awesome. And we can store more than 20 ships here, too. That's cool. Uh, build a tavern in your hideout. That's our next goal. Wow, that's cool. I didn't I didn't know we could do any building in this. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Pirate's about to attack us again. In my own base. Wow. So we need 10 cloth and 30 grog. So we should probably go buy that. We can also fast travel here, too. All right, let's uh, adjust the fleet now. Oh, 
Ooh. Cool. Um, so wait, now I want to bring some ships with me so I can go sell them. How do I... How do I bring a ship with me? Or maybe I can maybe I can just sell maybe I have to go to a harbor but I can sell it from the storage. All these ships coming with me. Oh, they'll follow me? Okay. So only with a dry dock can we leave them here. Okay, I thought a dry dock was for more storage. Captured ships can be stored safely here. Plus more store ships. Okay. Alright, so they're with us. Cool. All right, well, let's go buy uh, cloth and grog. And this guy's probably going to attack us, so we'll probably have to fight. Guess they want to know Davy Jones' locker better. I think we'll just try to capture the ship of the line. into action I just made myself comfortable so now we don't get the multi-deck galleons anymore but now we all have ship of the line so that's cool I still haven't been able to test out those multi-decks but I want it on the a multi-deck ship of the line but it seems like now we're doing boarding and um, And sinking. So we want the ship of the line. Is this the ship of the line? Ha. Huh. Doesn't even tell you what you're going to board. Alright, that needs to be fixed.
Yeah, we'll just board them all. Forget it. Take the best sabers and grab their cargo. Nothing can go wrong now. Do you can actually distinguish the ship from the HP? Yeah, I shouldn't have to be a detective, though. Don't you guys think it should just say on the screen? Like, you shouldn't have to, like, you know, get out a protractor and, like, take a picture and do two overlays of transparencies and, like, compare the DNA and, like, take samples. And, like, it should just tell you. You know, like, whenever you hover over a ship, at the top of that screen, no matter what, it should just say what ship it is. That's all. You know, like, I shouldn't have to count mass and keel and, like, I, like I'm not a U-boat trying to attack an allied convoy. Like, I'm not trying to identify the ship. Like, just tell me the ship! That's all. Like, the game should just do that. I want to know what ships are about to be mine. That even turned out to be fun. your bets the fun can begin oh good how fun we can set it on fire later now all hands across I'm not afraid of them they don't have a thing to offer anyway Child's play. Man, all this boarding, you'd think we were at the terminal at the airport. Jeez. Back into action? I just made myself comfortable. Full speed ahead! Speed ahead! 
The boat's ours. <laughs> you ask yourself why they even try in the first place. They could still learn a thing or two from us. Man, no one's getting away. Subi Chowder, I really like this game. One of many Raptor streams made me buy it. Oh, good. I I'm glad you like it. Having more games that you like is good. Good. Part of the evil plan. What's up, Tan? Good to see you. Enough of sitting around. The boat's ours. from your pay. Don't you dare let those vultures below deck. Another ship for the shell. A history-making triumph. Wow. Let's go sell these ships, huh? Very nice. A few boards, nails, and new paint, and then we can sell the thing for a fortune. Let's go check in with the Dutch, and then we'll uh, sell some of these ships and go buy some of the stuff we need. Let's go to Trinidad first. Oh, Santiago's there. Trinidad's up there. Okay. What's up, Danny K? Good to see you. Uh, we'll buy stuff to build our own tavern. So is there a way to see what you need to build that stuff without going back to port? Like, I remember we need cloth. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. And grog. As long as the rum's tasty, no problem. That's another thing, too, that they should tell you is what you need. I don't remember how much cloth I needed. Should be a way to pin shopping lists so you can you know what to buy when you go to the store. I think it was like a hundred. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. I'll just buy it all. Oh, we only needed ten. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy everything and then sell it later. Does this game use the extra fleet ships for carrying capacity? I believe it does. Yeah. Danny K, thanks for the 8,000, dude. Thank you very much. Big O Super Chat. Thanks, dude. And then Grog. Only 15. We're going to need more than that. Also, no, we needed round shot for the thing. The It's like the, the dry dock or something. And I'm just going to buy more wood. It's cheap anyway, even though it's a high price. I'm about to make a ton of money off selling ships anyway. Keep the crew happy. <laughs> the Dutch will only... Buy priceless art for three ninety four, the lowest price. Okay. Yeah, but we could sell prosthetics. Oh, we don't have any. Oh yeah, we needed rope. Let's buy all the rope then. Um.
Yeah, that's fine. I'll buy all this stuff. Honestly, earned gold looks different. We'll get them to give up that accent yet. But besides that, they're fairly fit recruits, I'd say. All right, time to sell. So, let's find out what ships we want to keep. Uh, I really want the multi decks, but uh, yeah, we can hold out for a multi deck ship of the line, maybe. All right, I think what I'm going to do is this. We're not shell uh, any ship of the line. We're not going to sell, and we will sell the Queen Anne's that do not have double cannon decks. So this is going. This is going. The frigates are going to go. Oh, the skins? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't know you could put skins on a ship. That's cool. The more you know. That's cool. Well, now we got to look at the skins for the other ships before we leave. Mandatory. Okay, this one can go. Seems like all we get is the skeleton. Oh, that's kind of weird. Poseidon is like riding on a skull. Okay. It doesn't like overwrite the other skin. Wow, look at all that stuff. Looks good. Meh. The skins are kind of meh. All right. Well, now we're a millionaire again. Awesome. So we're off to find more grog.
Off to find the grog, the wonderful drink of grog. Because, 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 because that's what pirates do. Oh, you get skins based on the pirate hideouts you conquer. Oh, cool. So the one we just took is the skeleton one. Alright, that's cool. I like how there's zero dollars. They're just like, oh, you captured a pirate port. Now you can make all your ships have this thing. Although they seem a little weird. Like you just, you, it's like you're just painting. Oh, it's like, oh, there's a Poseidon here. Oh, we're just going to hang a skull over it. It's like, shouldn't that just fully redesign the ship in a way? But okay. I think the Greetings from San Francisco. What's up, Jack? Welcome. Did I notify the IRS of my newfound wealth? No, what I need to do is I need to file early and predict what I'm going to get in Pirate Booty. And then if I'm wrong and I underreport, then I owe them more and I'll be penalized for not knowing how much I was going to find through piracy. But if I overreport, then I've got to file to get the money that is mine back. But it's theirs, but I have to ask permission to have my money. And that'll take, you know, 7 to 10 weeks and then another 18-month approval process. And then maybe... I'll get a small portion of a small percentage of what I've earned. Maybe. If they feel like it. But that's why I use H and R block. Good job, Chad. That was team effort. I'm just going to buy more fruit. Alright, we're here for Grog. Can I make Grog? Isn't it just rum and water? Oh, there's 11. Oh, there's no grog here at all. I'm going to buy all the cannons, though. I'm going to keep these pirates nice and happy because we're going to be traveling around a little bit. We need to find a ton of grog. I'm just doing this to keep the crew happy <laughs> so they can have tons of stuff to eat and, and drink. Because we're probably going to be driving around just trying to find Grog. Like, where's all the Grog gone? Prices here are pretty decent. They're pretty mid mid range. Not bad. A couple of them are high, but they're only a little bit. Oh, never mind. Wow. Well, spices, yeah. I don't care. We got tons of money. There's a hefty swell out there today. All right, let's go to. Hmm. I guess we'll go to Trinidad next and see if they've got. Um. Grog. So we're building our pirate hideouts. So now we're now we're buying a bunch of materials to then go back to that to technically build up Pirate City then. What? Really? Thank goodness you don't take damage hitting stuff in this game. It's the Sierra Tito Dollars Cruise. We need something stiff to drink.
You'll find me at the local marketplace. No grog here either. I, I think I'm going to have to tell the crew that they can't drink it till we find enough. Alright, sorry boys. No grog, but you can have rum. You can have salted meat too. Total change for a day. Okay, we'll actually be gaining morale as we travel. So long as the supply holds out. Then let's buy more salted meat. Alright, we, we need more cannonballs. More ropes. I don't know precisely what we want with all that stuff. It's just taking up cargo space from more important goods. I know, bro, but we need to keep everybody happy as we we're on a busy mission. Honestly, earned gold looks different. I don't think the crew really cares about sauerkraut, it seems. It gives no change to the total. Alright, no grog, boys. We could probably attack a bunch of pirates, but we're probably not going to find much grog. It just seems like it's going to be way easier to buy. Something's missing. Something that accounts for equilibrium in the hold. Yeah, those prosthetics there cost an arm and a leg. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why they don't want rum. They want grog at the tavern. It's like, boys, we do way better than that. Shores, or old, well-traveled ones. <laughs> no grog here either? Oh, exactly what I was looking for. We're going to upgrade our base, so we're going we on a, a grog hunt. We're going looking for grog. They also want us to go to Seville, okay. And New Orleans. Oh, if we go to France, they're going to hate us. I think Spain's cool. Chat, does, uh, if time passes and you don't attack an enemy, like, can your relationship return to normal if you leave an enemy alone? I think I'm going to go... Oh, there's an enemy ship that goes between these two. All right, we'll do a mission while we're on mission. Let's go to Havana. Actually, we'll, we'll just hit up these four right across the top. Yeah, grog is this watered-down rum. So it's like we have grog and rum, so I don't know why we can't just, like, get water and mix them. Ooh, two pirate ships. They can barely move an inch with all the cargo they've loaded. They can barely move an inch with all the cargo they've loaded. Yeah, we're fine. Something's missing. Something that accounts for equilibrium New in member. the hold. Welcome. Skull above it, is that a mission ship? Uh, oh, did I miss it? That's alright, we'll do the ports first. Yeah, 
It should just be between these two ports anyway. A gorgeous little town. Twould be a shame if someone were to raid this here. Six grog. I wonder if there's a way we can give rations. I don't know precisely what we want with all that stuff. It's just taking up cargo space from more important goods. This game should also let you turn the music off and like turn on shanties. Something's missing. Something that accounts for equilibrium in the hold. Bruh. I want to have a meeting with the crew. It's like, guys, listen. I know you want to sink stuff, but we're going to make a bar. You'll find me at the In order to make the bar, we have to go look for Grog. It's smooth sailing, boys. You get to eat and barely do anything. Oh my god, there's no Grog again. Uh, congratulations to the next few people smashing like before the 300. We'll be pushing it to four. Four hundo on the way. Let's go, chat. Get that hype going. Did I try Tortuga? Uh, no. Not for Grog yet. Plus, I think Tortuga wants me to take... If I go to Tortuga, they're going to try to take 45% of anything in my holds in order to let me enter the uh, port. To new shores or old, well traveled ones. <laughs> the men are already writing songs about you, Captain. All right, who's okay. coming along to swim once around the ship? Thirty nine grog. What is the uh, name of this ship we got to destroy? Merchant convoy along its route between Seville and Nuva Filipinas. We'll do that while we're here. I think it's a Spanish convoy. All right, we're going to keep buying Grog until we get to the Hundo so we can upgrade our pirate base. The local specialties are delish. I'll go get myself a rum. No, none here.
We'll go around the peninsula. Uh, the sale symbol next to the town means that that town specializes in selling sails and other type of rigging. There's also uh, like hull upgrades, cannon upgrades. Some of the towns have uh, better harbor masters for that. Alright, we're supposed to sink this ship. Hopefully they have a million grog on them. Defeat it in sea battle, so we can we can board. We'll show them how it's done. Why don't I raid the English? Yeah, we've been doing that. I just I'm not on that part of the map. In fact, I've raided the English so much that, like, they tried to take forty five percent of everything in my cargo holds before they let me into their towns. So I'm not going there for a while. Send those uniformed sods back where they came from. Eyes, frontmen! We have to see what we're shooting at. Come on! The cowards are already diving overboard. I'm not afraid of them. They don't have a thing to offer anyway. Well, let's get it. The tavern is 20 wood and 10 rope and 30 booze. The tavern? Well, again, I wish there was a way where you could look at the shopping list while you're out. Like, is there a way you can click on the port and see upgrade? Like, that should be a thing, too, so you don't have to write it down on a piece of paper. Because then it'd be cool, like, if you got notified of, like, you know, notify me when I have what I need to build this. And then you'd be like, oh, I got the stuff. Cool. I'll go back to base and build. Come on, men! Bring the 
Finally! I almost fell asleep. Grab the sabers, pistols, and bottlenecks! No holds board! I hope you have a plan. Sir, go there. Take the best sabers and grab their cargo. Let's pay them a visit! Could have been sold. Did they try to ram me? The boat's ours. Come on, men. Bring the tankers for a patch thing so we'll show them how it's done right. Finally, I almost fell asleep. They ought to take a page out of our book. Ours. Grab the sabers, pistols, and bottlenecks. No holds barred. I can get it done alone too. Another ship for the shell. Here we go. Raise the tankers. We didn't doubt for a second. If I had had my way, we would have left you behind here. Ah, what a splendid nutshell we've bagged again. Any grog? No grog? Ugh. Fantastic. Dozens of barrels of sugar and tobacco. This moron should... No, that's not a good idea to load so much onto a ship. Now it's time to get to the exciting part of our mission. Let's go pay Senor Martinez a visit. All right, good idea. It's exactly what we're going to do. Martinez will gladly accept our offer and pay more than the actual price. Did they pay as much as they promised? Good. Right, we gotta go back here to the tavern. We did it, yeah. Yeah, we need grog. We need all the grog. have thought you'd turn out to be such a good captain. I'm ashamed to know my ship is in a Spanish port. Nothing. All right, let's deliver the goods. A uh, small man stands before you looking extremely overwhelmed and frazzled. Hello, we're merchants from Nassau. We've traveled to do business with the greatest businessmen of all the Caribbean. My partner here can give you an overview of our wares. Rum, cotton, bricks, and oh, we also have tobacco and sugar. Tobacco and sugar, give it here. Sorry, where are my manners? I'm willing to pay you the market value and a little something extra if you finish today. All right, we know a few merchants who may be interested as well. 
I'll pay a quarter on top. Double. Twice the amount. Martinez turns red. All right, but in return, I have an additional request. Find those lousy pirates who are making my life miserable and sink all their ships. You receive additional reward as well. Double. Wow. Did they pay as much as they promised? More crew means more work gets done. Means more time to drink rum. Means more throats to sing shanties. Oh, they want us to do a raid on New Orleans? Hoist the black flag and attack the residential area. Oh my god. And they want us to attack pirates to make it seem like it's not us, but somebody else. Oops. Uh, no. There we go. What is going on? There we go. Okay, so... But we still need Grog. Well, maybe if we defeat these pirates... They'll have Grog, maybe. cards here we go well these aren't pirates but we'll sink them for uh, happiness full speed ahead Good. I'll deduct the time from your pay. Yeah, we'll head back to our base after this and see if we have enough material. Uh, there is a main story to this game, but it's one of those open-ended games, I'm assuming, where you can continue on after. But, like, completing the game is, like, Basically having every pirate hideout and completing the main quests and a bunch of the captain quests. I think the captain quests are kind of part of the story too. They're side quests, but they're more they're more interesting than typical quests of like go here, pick up this. All right, note to self, for our ships of the line, we also need to put, like, medium-range cannons on them. I, I think those are best. The shorter range, the better, because everything is just all about tight turns and a small battlefield. It just doesn't seem to be much advantage of staying far, far away. Like, you want a cannon that fires maybe within three or four, even four is pushing it. Like, three hexagons is perfect. Sorry, buddy. Eyes, front men. We have to see what we're shooting at.
hope you've learned a thing or two since last time. Good. When do we get aircraft carriers? Um, like four four hundred years. Yeah, about four hundred years. Subs? Well, you can have a sub right now. You just head out to a Jimmy John's or a Subway. Quiznos, Firehouse. A lot of you right now are thinking about getting Quiznos or Subway or Jimmy John's for lunch or dinner now. Jedi mind tricks. Yeah, long range is too much. You know what be cool with the long range cannons is if they did plus damage because it's really hard to line up a long cannon shot because there's so many things that can get your way. You get islands in the way. You got to make a big turn and islands can get in the way and other ships can get in the way. Should be like a bonus for long range damage. Yeah, I'm putting everything on. Sh We're getting short cannons after this. Yeah, or pizza. Pizza's good, yeah. Pizza, pizza. Focus gamer looks like Chad. Yeah, for sure. Uh, sushi is my plan for lunch. Sushi place is three minutes away. Oh, that's a good plan. Sushi always just makes me hungry for more food, though. It's always an appetizer for me. I can never get full on that stuff. It's good. It's a good snack or an appetizer. Dubs, we did it. Good job. Yahar. Did you see their faces? Any grog? Of course not. Alright, we gotta go mess with pirates now, though. This guy will pay us double. Yahar rip and dip. Mark my words, now that I've been saying rip and dip, there's going to be some commercial for like uh, Little Caesars about that cheesy bread or whatever, where it'll be like perforated sticks of bread and it'll come with marinara sauce and it'll be like, introducing the all new blurp blop bread from blurpy blurp, rip and dip. Just rip and dip. Can I pay you in grog? I wish. What the hell? Oh, whoa. Oh, we can take him. Boys in the black. Guess they're tired of living. 
Arriving. Attack aborted. Oh, it's because the other ship came by. Oh, you can't give me all these awesome ship of the line. I need to capture anything over 1,600 we'll capture. So only one. We'll capture the one. Wet the sabers and load the cannons. All right, so we're only going to capture one ship, the one with over 1,600. The uh, ship of the line. How can I tell which one that is? Bro, they don't want to give you any information. I don't have room for all of them. I should probably sell more now. Am I still chilling with the Dutch? Yeah, as much as I can. They seem to be fairly neutral. These are a little too big to board them all. That one looked like he has three decks of cannons. Got him. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. Only starboard side cannons are loaded. Hmm. Go with that one. Oh, he's got two decks of cannons, too. Oh, well. Good job, Tan.
They didn't want it any other way. All right, so I don't want to board that one. That's a ship of the line. Let's go ahead and chain shot to slow it down. I think that might also help boarding. You'd think it would. Ooh. They're coming out with a new Cook Serve Delicious. It's called Cook Serve Del uh, Forever. That'll be a good one for the goof troop. I didn't know boarding side actually mattered. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just pl three places you could just move to. The so you'd have multiple ours. ships board. Okay. Didn't know that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, let's board that one. Sink that one. Fire later. Now all hands across. Eyes, frontmen. We have to see what we're shooting at. Don't you dare let those vultures below deck. I'll go for. We'll settle it face to face. Eyes, front men. We have to see what we're shooting at. Another ship for the shell. Good. We'll show them how it's done right. Thunder those cannons. The boat's ours. I can get it done alone, too. Away with the fuses and grab the sabers. I'll deduct the time from your pay. Go, boys. Board, board, board. Alright, that should be one last one. Fire later. Now all hands across. They 
want to run away already. All right, one more to go. I knew it after all. You're a straight shooter. There we go. Captain, but there no challenge at all. Why the blazes did we let that lug move on? Now all his countrymen will think we're just half-baked trout. Oh, we can take all those ships. Good. Nice new ship. Now all we've got to do is get the stench out of it. Ooh. No grog? Do we even have rations for so many men? There wasn't grog? Uh, excuse me, France. I'm busy. I am making a huge mistake. And that calls itself a seaman nowadays? <laughs> France, lol. Ooh. Oh, they didn't have any grog either. I didn't want to deal with that. I want to assign new ships. Okay, so. We should have a new ship that's over 15. 15, 14 is our lowest. Oh, but that's got that close range, though. That close range is good. I think I need to switch all my... I think we got to go to Port Royal and just switch all of our ships to, like, close range. It's just so good. All right, where's the... We captured a 1600, I think. There it is. And what do we have better than the 1529? We have a 1536. Range seven to ten. That doesn't even show the range. Why? Yeah, we're going to change the cannons. Hopefully, they have enough weight capacity for that. All right, that's good enough. Let's head back and get our. Booty, and then we'll go to Port Royal and see if we can. We'll go to Port Royal and see if we can get different guns, and then we'll try to do the pirate uh, HQ. It's a Papa Bear 95. Yeah, we're making a huge prog progress. We got uh, five ship of the line. We could probably have six soon when we get another captain. More crew means more work gets done. Means more time to drink rum means more throats to sing shanties. Oh, they want us to go to East Texas now? And sink pirates? Okay. Hmm.
doesn't even have a change. Alright, let's get rid of some ships. Alright, anything not ship of the line or Queen Anne has got to go. Also, one thing that annoys me is when you can't, like, take one, like, a set of cannons from one ship and put it onto another. Even if it's the same exact ship and, like, you're going to be selling one of the ships and you want to use its guns. There should be a way to swap out rather than just sell and then buy back. But I guess you have to pay a little installation fee, I guess. Can't wait till we get the better guns. Okay, looks like we sold the ships we didn't want. Is there any way to put more offensive and defensive parts on ships, the ones that don't have any? Uh, you can put parts on ships that allow them to be installed, but I don't I don't think you can modify a ship to have a defensive slot or... I mean, may, maybe. Maybe if you upgrade the hull, then maybe it'll get more space for a defensive or an offensive weapon. That could be possible. Alright, we're going to sail to East Texas now. You're slow cooking ribs. Oh, pork ribs too. Oh, man. Wow. What's up, Bear? But I guess the best way to get a, a ship with more stuff is to get a bigger ship. All right, over to Texas we go. There needs to be a shanty button. That's what this game is missing. In the lower left corner, there should just be like a little shanty button, like a little accordion, and boom. 20 shanties. Order now, and you'll get 20 more shanties for free. Timeless pirate classics such as... And who could ever forget... And also, here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. money, money, money. <laughs> All right, to be fair, the one about booty and, and money. Here comes the money. Both of those are appropriate. Order now. Three easy payments of click or tap like and smack that join button. get enough of raving about you you harm oh looks like there's a marker here Must just be a general marker. Alright, so we gotta stay near the coast and find pirates.
Now that's what I call shanties. Wait a minute. If pirates have shanties, right? Then what the heck's a shanty town? Like, those are kind of two different meanings, right? Like a shanty is just like a sea song, right? But a shanty town, is that... Does that have anything to do with being near the water? And like being a like a port town, but not like a big port town. Oh, here we go. All right, let's save before we encounter the pirates. More pirates. Why is that lower uppercase? The hell? Oh no, pirates. Oh, I hope I can avoid them. Ah. Oh. Damn, they got me. Oh. Uh, I think we can sink all these. Yeah, why not? Enough of playing cards. Here we go. Come on, men. Sing so the whole world can hear us. Shanty means makeshift. Okay. But sea shanties don't seem makeshift. They seem kind of like well thought out and kind of funny. Or like, you know, real decent. So that's, that's like me. Wait, oh, I must have. I was going to put him there. I must have clicked in the wrong. Hexagon, my bad. Boom, 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 boom. Sing you a shanty? What am I, the piano man? You had no business being here anyway. Play us a game, you're the raptor guy. Giveaways in the Discord for free. You can click or tap like or go ride a bike. But I'm done streaming before two and three. Yeah, I, I imagine sea shanties had something to do with military cadences, too. Like when you're doing, uh... When you're singing the song on the run, that's a military cadence. There was a game I played recently on the channel called, um... Full Metal Sergeant, and it allows you to, like, design a military base and train troops. And it's actually pretty cool, because... If you remember when we played one military camp, it's kind of like that, but a little bit more realistic, where you... You try to actually make a squad, train them, and then literally send them on a mission. And then you have to play with them in that mission, so the things you don't train them on, like, you know, physical... If, if they're not as physically strong, or... You can also train them in specialties, like making them a diver or an explosives expert or whatnot. So if they come across those things, like, there'll be good and bad things to happen. But one thing that game did well is... Uh, somebody wrote... 
military cadences for that game, and so they're like kind of based on real ones, but funny. You bored me to tears like, anyway. Usually the military cadences can be funny, but like these are different. But they're cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna swing around. Nothing can go wrong now. Man, we're surrounded. Plus, with the uh, the armor pierce rounds with those other cannons, short range cannons, I, hope it's worth it. I think they do even more damage. The Scots and Irish love a song song. Oh yeah, there's also like the, um... Oh, what do you call it when you like sing at a bar? Like when there's bar songs. Ha! I've been looking forward to this the whole time! Yeah, Command and Conquer videos are on the channel. Make sure you check the channel. I'm retired army. I've seen all kinds of songs adapted to cadence. Almost everything can be made to fit. Yeah. All right. Let's sync you. Work on that one. Um, nope. That's good. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, sea of Thieves needs more shanties. I like the Assassin's Creed Valhalla shanties, too. They were kind of like stories that they would tell and jokes and stuff like that. Karaoke? Well, that's a Japanese term, isn't it? I mean, every, I think every culture has their own version of a hey, let's get together and sing at a bar, but things can be a little different. Dance to a uh, jukebox or do karaoke. What about the Oscar Mayer Wiener jingle? Yeah, that's a jingle. Yeah, corporate jingles. I mean, even like McDonald's has one still with the ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Although, I think McDonald's has had that for almost 20 years. I mean, McDonald's used to have like, have you had your break today or did somebody say McDonald's? Those lasted like five, six, seven, eight years. But this, I'm loving it, is like 300 years old. Can we get a new one? Like, McDonald's got rid of Ronald McDonald and, like, coming up with any new jingles. And they're like, ah, screw it, we're just gonna have... We're just gonna sell crappy food. I mean, McDonald's food tastes good, but it's, like, crappy food, you know. Supermarket sweep? Yeah. Well, next time you're in line at the supermarket and you hear that beep, think of all the fun you could have at supermarket sweep. Yeah, these long-range cannons suck. All right, we'll go the long way around. Dude, you have to be on, like, the opposite side of the map to engage with these cannons.
I have to fire these cannons from Europe. Yeah, we'll get rid of these long range. They suck. Nothing beats Mentos. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Or like movie theme songs? Like I don't think we've had a movie theme song in a long time that people remember. Like the the last one has got to be like, well, actually, wait. James Bond movies usually have a pretty good sh song that plays on the radio for about like two months before the movie comes out and two months after. Like all the modern Bond jingles are actually pretty good. But also there's songs like, you know, Titanic. My Heart Will Go On. Oh yeah, Mission Impossible, yeah. I like the Bond ones because they're all written so, uh... Well, actually, they go all the way back to, like, the 60s and 70s. Some of them. Like Skyfall from Adele. Those are the newer ones, but then you got the, um... Uh, isn't it Duran Duran that sing that one song that Christopher Walken was in for the... What the hell was the evil guy's name? Zoran or something? Or is you had no business being here anyway. Zoloft or something? Whatever that guy was. Wasn't that View to a Kill? What the hell was that bad guy's? I think it was Zoran or something. And he like bought a blimp to like be above San Francisco when an earthquake happened. Or just Cal he was gonna He was gonna like try to destroy Silicon Valley to raise microchip prices. Like what a nerd. Or something like that, I don't know. In Norway, we have fleeting or st Steve short verses, uh, either a word. Oh. Contains life wisdom, yeah. A lot of sayings. Yeah, the Scandinavians love, like, memorable things that rhyme. Now I'll show you how it's done. That's how stories get told and are memorable. Lore and things like that. Max Zorin, yeah. Diamonds are forever the... Oh, yeah. I hope you know what you're doing. God, I really got to do a Bond marathon this year. You know, I really wish Pierce Brosnan had did a few more movies before he stepped out. He was, he was a good Bond. But uh, I don't mind um, Daniel Craig either. He's, he's all good. You know, these recent Bonds have kind of reminded me of, like, the Batman movies, where they're kind of, like, exploring the origins of Bond a little bit. You know, like, when they kind of, re quote-unquote, restarted with the, uh... Casino Royale. The Top Gun... Maverick Lady Gaga song is up for an Oscar? I, I didn't even see that movie. I heard it was good. But it was one of those movies that was locked in development hell. Mostly because of like 2020 and COVID. So it's like, eh, fair enough. Full speed ahead! Man, these long-range cannons are just... You can't make a turn tight enough to use these things. Either the enemy... Yeah, it's, yeah. They're, it's just all, they're always at like, the wrong angle. <laughs> and I missed. Let 
Well, at last. Theme of Charlie's Angels? Dude, look at these cannon ranges. Ridiculous. Dude, I, if I go between these ships, it's still too, they're still too close range. Alright, we're getting new cannons, that's for sure. But at least we can fire twice now. That was cool, I guess. Oh, live and let die. That's also yeah, good work. That's also a very good bond. Th yeah, bond themes are always memorable and good. Although some of I some of I can't remember. Like I can't remember Golden Eyes. Back into action! I just made myself comfortable. Man with the golden gun's good too. But I think the best James Bond theme song ever was the one from The Simpsons. Where they had, uh. Oh, what was his name? Hank Scorpio. Scorpio, do, 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 do. They talk about, like, healthcare employee plans or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go get cannonades after this. These are all stolen ships, so we had, like. These are good ships, but. Like two or three of them, the the guns are just it's trash. Like the battles are never big enough to where we can actually use these, and I could never get the right angle. I would like it if these long range guns had a damage bonus or something, because it's so hard to l line these up. I'll deduct the time from your pay. Yeah, there might be naval action videos on the channel. I don't know. Of all of you, place your bets. The fun can begin. I played so many games now. It's like over eight thousand videos on the channel. I'm starting to kind of forget. This was a long battle. Oh, the A-Team? Oh, yeah. Hey, when did that A-Team movie come out? That must have been like 2006, 7, 8. That'd be a good one to go watch again. There'll be no sleeping here. They didn't want it any other way. There we go. How to get more action points in a better ship? Oh, um, well, your didn't your I captain's experience. Job? Of course, you did make your contribution as well. But yeah, it can be linked to the the ship too. Ah, uh, still no grog. All right, we're just gonna have to save grog for like a million years. All right, let's go back to what? I need to go to Louisiana now. Well, we may as well raid New Orleans since we have to go over there. All right, so we're going to do two missions in one then. So we're going to keep looking for pirates around New Orleans, but or Louisiana, I guess. But let's look for... We're supposed to, like, raid... New Orleans and then like burn this guy's house down. So before we do that, let's see if we can like dock and see if we can buy some grog. Something's missing. Yeah, there was an A team movie. Accounts for equilibrium in the hold. Hawaii five oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Didn't they try to remake that on oh man. TV's just dead. 
I can't watch any uh, remakes or new makes or anything. All these shows now that are trying to be like friends and stuff, it's like, just stop. Tonight on 20-somethings, having financial problems. It's like, yeah, okay. Or the worst. Big Bang Theory, where there's a laugh track at every video game reference. You know, it's like... St Star Wars Xbox. <laughs> like, teehee... Yeah, five thousand gold is fine. New shores or old, well-traveled ones. I'll get my money back when I raid this town. Oh, thank God! Wait, that's rum. Where's the grog? Okay, we're still short, but that's good. No, not cod. I'm gonna buy a ton of rum for the men. Exactly what I was looking for. Any ships to sell? Can we take more of it with us? Nope. Okay, let's go to the tavern and recruit. Oh, let them eat cake. Is this guy going to join us as a captain? Hold on. We might be able to recruit this guy and we can get a sixth captain. We'll get them to give up that accent yet. All right, here's what Besides we're going to do. That, they're fairly fit recruits, I'd say. We're going to recruit. We're going to recruit this guy, I think. Then we'll have six ships. Then we'll raid New Orleans for that other mission. Then we'll go look for pirates here and that'll com that should complete this mission which seems to be maybe a three-parter, maybe four around Louisiana. And then, oh, main, yeah, main mission. Build your tavern hideout. Oh, perfect, and we're working on that mission too. Dude, we're doing so many missions at the same time, it's great. So we just need a little bit more grog for the HQ. We need to hunt one more pirate where we are now. We need to raid New Orleans where we are now. And we need to get another pirate captain where we are now. This is good. It's good stuff. Oh yeah, A team and MacGyver, yeah. Dude, if they brought back MacGyver, I'd be too I'd be super happy with that. I mean, they kind of did, didn't they? Or something? New MacGyver? I don't know. It's Richard Dean Anderson. That's my MacGyver, damn it. But then again, they've switched up bonds before, so. Did they ever do a MacGyver movie? I know they did MacGruber or something. Which was like, eh, you know. You thought they did, but it kind of sucked. Oh, yeah, the old ones are good because it's like, dude, I'm gonna take this, uh, dude, I'm gonna take one aspirin, a paper clip, and a playing card to make a machine gun. It's like, yeah, okay, all right, dude, you you do that. Wow, he did it. Wow. <laughs> now the show was so it was so big brain. It was like um, when uh, forensic, not forensic files, uh, CSI first came out, and people were blown away with like. Uh, investigator techniques to like use hairspray and like a, a shoe print or whatever to make it maintain its form and then you put plaster in there or whatever to try to like take a f shoe print or whatever but then they just started to get ridiculous and not to mention the um not to mention the theme song who are you who, who? all right let's do this so we're in Lu louisiana's so let's the louis louisis All right, we're in Lewis Anna right now. Cool. Lewis and Anna, we're at, we're at their house right now. And that's where we'll pick this up when we play again tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining me. Right now I'm going to send you live to another city builder. We're building our pirate base here, and we're going to continue that tomorrow. But we're building a, a base in New Cycle, a new uh, home, a new city builder that you may not have heard of, which is free on Steam, by the way. For the uh, uh, It's a demo in honor of the Steam 
uh, build fest or whatever going on right now. So I'm going to bring you live over to a new YouTube video going live right now. You guys will be amongst the first to watch it. So make sure you uh, click or tap that thing that pops up at the top of chat. Otherwise, it'll be auto redirected and we'll come back for more Tortuga tomorrow morning. And we're going to play Farthest Frontier in less than an hour, guys. So check it out. I'll see you guys in the, uh, vi in the uh, live stream and in the video. Thank you very much for watching more Tortuga soon. Let's go.